Yo, what are you doing? Well, I, I was just doing the level. Oh, cool. Can I play? Alright. Oh, thanks. Wait, what the? Bro, this level sucks. Have you ever said, man, I really wish I could make Mario levels. Super Mario Maker is the perfect game for you, but then you find out that you're actually pretty bad at making Mario levels and you just give up anyways. I don't know why, but as time goes on, less and less people talk about the game. But not now, of course, I mean, the next game is coming out pretty soon. Super Mario Maker was one of Nintendo's biggest games coming out in 2015. The other one being Splatoon. This game came out in September 10th, 2015, and it was amazing. Before I get into the game, let's just appreciate how well done the box for this game is. It comes with an actual box instead of a game box, and inside, well, you have the game and a cool book. The book has a bunch of screenshots from the game, alongside some old concepts from the old days. It really was well made. When you first open the game, you can either make or play. Usually in the title screen, you can see Mario in a randomly made chorus, which you could still play without choosing make or play. Each letter has a different effect. Since the game is a maker, let's start with that option. When you choose make, the stage that was in the title screen will be the template. You could simply clear it using the spaceship. Where to begin with this? Well, for starters, there are six different themes which most likely appeared in all four types of games. Since there was no ghost or airship theme in the first Super Mario Bros, they made a theme that fits with the style, which probably took so much effort. Good job, Nintendo. The six themes are planes, underground, underwater, airship, ghost house, and Bowser's castle. You could play them in different game styles from Super Mario Bros and Super Mario Bros 3 to Super Mario World and New Super Mario Bros U. The tools you can use are build, erase, sound effects, reset, undo, theme change, style change, and play. That's a good variety of things. You can also copy and select, which can be very useful at times. Not only can you place enemies, but if you give them a mushroom, you can also grow them. By the way, if you give any enemy a side effect, you could just shake them and it would get rid of the effect. Sound effects don't just play a sound when you place them. They can also give Mario some strange effects, which is always nice. New things got added in future updates like fire clown cars or keys, which just ended up in more creative levels. The game has some easter eggs within the maker. First up, you've got the fly minigame which originated from Mario Paint. You can trigger this event in two different ways. The first way is by moving blocks until flies come out. The second way is to get a muncher and shake it until flies come out. You would tap these flies to trigger the minigame and when you win, nothing happens. But there is a harder version and you get it by shaking the muncher until the big fly comes out and when you complete it, you can get a fly costume. The second easter egg is when you tap the door a couple of times, a skinny Mario just peeks out of the door. What the heck happened? The final easter egg is when you fall. There can be special sound cues instead of the They're all pretty cool if you ask me. Play mode lets you play other people's levels alongside official courses by Nintendo. There are two different modes to begin with. There's the 10 Mario challenge and there's course world. The 10 Mario challenge is a mode where you only have 10 lives and play 8 levels made by Nintendo. Course World is where you play other people's levels. You can either play them in the 100 Mario Challenge, find one in Courses, or if you like a specific maker, you can go to them in Makers and choose a level they made. Similar to the 10 Mario Challenge, 100 Mario Challenge has you play a set of people's courses with 100 lives. You can have 3 different difficulties, Easy, Normal, and Export. That is, if you haven't beaten Expert Mode. If you have, you will get access to Super Expert. You can skip levels if you just can't beat them, which can be really handy at times. Whenever you beat Normal or the two Experts, 
you will get access to a costume you can just unlock with your amiibo. More on that later, but for now, let's talk about the other two modes. Courses allow you to look at new courses alongside popular courses. This is for anyone who wants to look for a specific course by searching or playing what people think the best courses are. Then there is Makers. You could choose someone and when you do, you will be able to play their courses. That's basically Course World. Wait, Toad? There is still one more mode here. Events. No, not that events. This events. Here's where you can play other official Nintendo levels, and some of them even has costumes to unlock. These costumes are special as you can't unlock them with Amiibo. As the name suggests, this was released when there was a special event happening, or Nintendo just making a partnership with Mercedes-Benz. As I said earlier, you can unlock costumes with Amiibo. It only works with what was available at the time, meaning you can't scan your Ridley Amiibos. Sadly as we know so far, this feature won't be coming back in the next game. Amiibo has another function though. You can scan in this really sick 8-bit Mario Amiibo to get a Mega Mushroom in the game. This changes the style of how the game looks, alongside making Mario huge. It's like a baby version of the Mega Mushroom from New Super Mario Bros. There are 150 costumes in total. Might as well put all original 151 Pokemon while you're at it. Mario Maker was an amazing game, and I couldn't be happier that it exists. For an official maker for a Nintendo game, it's actually pretty well made. But then again, it's Nintendo. By the time I'm recording this, Mario Maker 2 should be coming out in two weeks, and you know that's the next video. It would be fun making more courses in your Nintendo Switch. Now, if only Smash's stage builder was this good.